The Master Diviner must have launched the campaign while we were delayed in the Artisanship Commission. But the Diviner was the right time. Time is of the essence. The most important task for the Sien Lafu is suppressing the Stellaron. General Jing Yuan tasked the Master Diviner with commanding the Cloud Knights. He would have known she'd act on the results of her divination. It's hard to tell if the Master Diviner won or lost here. <clears throat> You're not the Knights. What is your purpose here? It's dangerous. We're reinforcements sent by the General. Where's everyone else? <laughs> Resorting to short life species as reinforcements. <laughs> Jing Yuan is truly running out of options. Run! She's a disciple of Sanctus Medicus! Silence! If my healing worked, you'll become one of us. Are you not the General's guest? Master Diviner prophesied your arrival. We were ordered to wait for you under any circumstances. Who's around what's here? Yes. The Who's Master right? Diviner ordered us to remain stationed here and went to Scott ahead. They're saying the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have returned. They haven't been seen for an age. The troops are anxious. It's good that you're here. The Master Diviner said the knights weren't to move out until you arrived. Please wait in the camp. We'll decide on our next steps once the Master Diviner returns. To avoid dissemination of intelligence, the General and I kept the involvement of the Disciples to ourselves. It is a clandestine organization that seeks to overthrow the Alliance. Before the Stellaron disaster, the Disciples have remained veiled in shadow for years. Their emergence reflects their intricate connection to this calamity. The conflict is difficult, Master Diviner, but you have led your forces from the front lines and beyond in pursuit of the enemy. Admirable work. Hardly. A Diviner must acquire first-hand knowledge in order to calculate the future. Collecting intelligence in this way assists me in achieving the right answer. Wait, what's all this about a difficult conflict? The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been scheming for a long time, but our army is in no way inferior. How can things be so difficult? This is why the Cloud Knights lost control and became Mara struck? Indeed. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus infuse the smoke that permeates this delve with medicinal pellets that elicit Mara. Unless the Cloud Knights were able to march with their breath held, they would be doomed to fall into disarray. Moreover, no one can know whether their comrade was about to be stricken with Mara. Is there anything better than fear for destroying the morale of an army? This demonic vapor is a weapon targeted against the Cloud Knights. The Ambrosial Arbor is taboo for the Lafu, and the Sien Zhou Alliance has always been fiercely independent. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus can never have guessed that the general would seek outside help. They won't be prepared against short life species. Listen, Lady Fu, I got 40 gold tickets saved for you and 2,000 stellar jade. Will you allow me to pull early? Eh? Just get my luck out of the way? See if you'll come home early? That would be fantastic. Don't mind me taking a picture of you right here. I should ask for your permission, but whatever. <gasps> I'm sorry. <coughs> what? It's not too late to practice holding my breath. You seem quite all right. Still far from the elixir crucibles. I'm no healer, but I do know that dosage is important in the application of poisons. <laughs> Even so. Okay, I admit it. I'm terrified. I'm still young. I don't want to become Mara struck so soon. Then you better return oh, to the home the front. Question. Jing Yuan gave me authority over the Cloud Knights. If I can't stand on the front lines, then how can I succeed him as a general? <clears throat> how can I win the hearts of the people? Is the smoke really safe, Did though? Do not trust me? <clears throat> 
If I told you I wasn't certain, would you turn back on the spot? Do for divination. No need. Aside from divinations and calculations, my instincts are accurate too. Though I'm sure a little reassurance wouldn't hurt. You don't know what being Mara struck actually means, do you? The healers believe that the Mara struck condition is related to memories. Unsurprisingly, long life species have long lifespans, but there is a limit to the brain's capacity. After centuries and millennia, a long life species' emotional threshold becomes higher and higher. Simultaneously, their memories fade and become dull under the erosion of time, leaving behind only the most extreme and vivid recollections, which are almost guaranteed to be memories full of anguish and regret. Do you understand now? The fate of all long life species is to no longer feel joy and happiness, left only with hatred and regret etched into the heart. Under such extreme conditions, a person's ego starts to crumble. And that is the beginning of the Marastruck condition. Short life species don't need to worry about this. Feel better? Phew, I do. I never had memories to begin with. No, you still don't understand. The condition isn't caused by memories, but by the emotional threshold having been... Never mind. You can regard it as a memory issue. Yeah, don't mind, March. I'll leave you... Yeah, I'll leave you to it. I will it. come at once when the crucibles are doused and the smoke dissipates. <sighs> you do that. Of course, Mahoyo won't let me pull you for you early. I await your banner. When it arrives in version 1.3. But anyways, welcome back, dudes. More Honkai Star Rail. Long life species get to live forever. And a lot of talking. They aren't so different from us short life species when it comes to worries and suffering. We just met up back up at Madam Fu and we're back to where we last left off, really. Again, the intro explains it all through editing. Oh, you know how that is. Let's continue on with the story as where we last left off. We need to get this fog out of here. Because it is not safe for them to be in this. And the dead bodies pretty much fill... <laughs> the dead bodies pretty much give us the insurance of it. The general commanded me to stay with you. I dare not go against military orders. Your life is more important, Miss Tingy. Go back. We can explain to the general. Yeah. As we do, we had our first fight of the day. First battle of the day. I didn't know how long this was going to take last episode, so I was like, eh, I'll wait till next time. Last episode was pretty long as is. He was again more of his bolts. What that core fracturing? Get that out of here. The team hasn't changed too much since last time. I uh, think a trace or two has been leveled up. But nothing too crazy has happened. I, I shift some ornaments around. You'll notice a little bit that my uh, trailblazer does a little more a little more fire damage. Oh no, he still exploded. Hmm. I guess I can't get rid of that buff. If that's what you want to call it. Yep. But yeah, I'll quickly go over the team in a minute. But, um, I, well, probably not, actually, because, again, it hasn't been changed too much. Just some ornament shifting or, or relic shifting. You'll notice, you'll notice it with my trailblazer. You're lucky I didn't have my launches burst ready. But that's okay. Yeah, I got a fire... I got a fire relic for my trailblazer. This one. So this fire damage does a lot more now. Because before it was like, you couldn't kill an enemy if it was low, even if it was on low health. I got tired of that, and then farmed some simulated universe for a little bit, and got a really good ornament. Or an okay one for now. Not the kind of ornament I want out of it. But that's okay. We make do. This combat needs up. This is double speed. 
Yeah, yeah, keep advancing him forward. I'll save that Ultima for later. There we go. Save it for the uh, reviving guys. There's a lot of dudes, like three dudes in a row? I just want to clear the room real quick before we do anything. No, no, nice out of you. All right. Oh, wait. We still haven't doused the burners. All right. Just clearing the room real quick, March. What do we do? We clear a room first, and then we solve the puzzle. Seems like the smoke is getting thinner. Oh, is that wolf going to come alive? You can watch minutes out of the cloud looks of crucible. Why did you turn it on? I didn't mean to. Hmm. There might be a little more to this. Oh, that one was off. Weird. I didn't realize it was uh, already floating in the air. That's funny. It's like they did it for me. That or I touched it and didn't realize it. You catch a couple breaths there, Lady Fu. Also, by the way, we're still in the si inside a ship. And there's all this water and all this land. Honestly, if you showed me a picture of this, I would have believed this is from something from Destiny. Like this is a raid area or something. So, you succeeded in dowsing the elixir cauldrons. It really was not that hard, lady. Unimportant. The inevitable is already upon us. Don Shu. It's you. I have met you before in my capacity oh, yeah. as chief alchemist, master diviner. You don't seem surprised. Indeed. The General and I knew that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus must be hiding in the Alchemy Commission. However, without evidence, we couldn't bring charges before the Commissions. We had to wait for you to show yourselves. And now, your charges are many. Drawing Stellaron's spirits into the Sienjo, Resurrecting the Ambrosial Arbor. Striking down our people with Mara. The Ten Lords Commission will address these transgressions during your reckoning. Crimes? If I am guilty, then all of our Sienjo ancestors are also guilty. They were the ones who accepted the blessings of the abundance and turned their descendants into long life species. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus are only walking on the road our ancestors once took. How is it a crime to seek ascendance? In days of old, the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor enveloped the Sienjo Lafu like a living creature. We controlled the stellar seas, and none could stand in our way. Everyone could become celestial, and shift form at will. Divine miracles descended onto all nine Sienjo ships. What a glorious time that was. How far the Sienjo has fallen. We consent to be commanded by the devilish archer. Suffer continuously at the hands of the denizens of abundance. And the Ten Lords Commission even forces us to give up our immortality. How pitiful. I do not blame you for your ignorance. We were not born in the era when the Ambrosial Arbor first descended. Nor did we witness its miracles. But now, we now have an opportunity to restore the ancient laws. <laughs> Forgive me for thinking you might have harbored some profound enlightenment. Yours is the same old talk of those who seek power and give up on their humanity. Our Sienjo ancestors fought side by side with the Arbiter laid waste to the arbor and established the Ten Lords Commission to lay down the lines between life and death. In doing so, we enshrined our future as human beings. So 
Celestials? There are no Celestials on the Sien Joe. The divine miracles of the Abundance, the manipulation of life and death. Your deeds are nothing but evil. I have nothing to say to you, Master Diviner. You have already made your decision. You have discarded power. A most foolish choice. Well, let's fight out then. I'm gonna want to get rid of that dog at first. Just to get the advanced forwarding. Meanwhile, we do that ourselves. This combat needs optimized. Sooner he's out of the way, the better, I think. Maybe it's best to kill him last, but. Yeah. Ooh, these guys are doing decent damage. Then I don't have my shields up. What am I doing? You chose the wrong man. Not Can great damage. <laughs> this gonna be a moment for my trailblazer is not gonna hit as hard as you're expected to hit it. The auto heal. My sweet, that field going. Cause yeah, some of these guys do hit hard. This combat me. This is double speed. Even though I got like okay traces and stuff, things are gonna still scale with us as we journey through this world. We got the Master Diviner. Black Paris Snarl has a high chance for all targets to become affected with Paris Scythion. Great at the Great Arbor of Metamorphosis. Continuously deals wind damage to a random target with a high chance of causing wind shears. Guiding Vincers deals wind damage to a target, adjusting allies with a high chance of causing wind shears. A lot of wind damage, I see. Level 76, and no weakness to quantum. Oh, it lowers your health. Okay. This battle is unavoidable. Lowers whatever max health it seems you have, or at least like a portion of it. Hold on. Whoops. The button. It was Z. Paris siphon. Siphoned. Decreased maximum recoverable HP by 30%. That is not great. I'm on guard. Seems to only be around for a little bit. Shakur. Receive divinity. Should probably not treat this lightly. You chose the wrong There's some wind shears. <laughs> The get that field back up, and then let's see if we can get rid of the minion or add-ons. More enemies. Lance at the red. Lance a blaze. Lance forward. Stack that magma well. Yeah. The next turn, okay. I'll see you. Lending your strength. I mean, if you got a decent healer, this isn't too bad. So far. This is double speed. Pretty gay, nice. Wait, can you recover that back or remove it? You can recover it, but not recover your full HP. Okay. So even like Lao Cha's healing can't remove it. So you just gotta make do. It seems like it wears off after like a turn or two. I'll see you off. 
This should do it. This is double speed. Nice. Why? She said. The ambrosial arbor's descent will bring us undying bodies. The one who gave us the Stellaron said that. Pantelia, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have fulfilled our promise. You, Lord Ravager, must do the same. Now, quickly. Little pawn, must you force me to intervene directly? I'm loath to flout my philosophy of destruction. you? <laughs> Never mind. It would seem the time has come for other means of dismantling the Xianjo from within. <sighs> what a shame. Uh, it would have been nice to observe for a little longer. <laughs> You received the gift of abundance. Surely you can stand this. Our destruction. Mr. Yoon! Benefactors, allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Lord Ravager of Italia. I have become the sole purpose. To set in motion the self-destruction of the sea engines. To cause the defense, only you understand. Is the Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion? But uh, how can that be? Strength, calm, all of you. This is a formidable enemy. We have to stay together. Use the five second. But yes, yeah, so we should get rid of these guys first. Yet. Lance a blaze. Lance. Which won't be too much of a problem. Can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. <laughs> this is double speed. Let's settle this. <laughs> this bat lends me your strength. Nothing's too much of a problem when you have a team time like this. <laughs> I'm on guard. Okay. Wait a minute. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Like I see an opportunity to shoot my gun. Can I have this battle is unblending your strength? Should have done this. You are fortunate that Shepard is selling the new Since that stubborn general of yours has forced me to take center stage, <laughs> my apologies for leaving so soon. But I have a appointment to keep. I'm sure my friends here will be happy to entertain you. I mean, they can only do so much for entertaining. Seems this entity knows more. Knows about the general. Eternal By the way, that scene was pretty cool. I like that. But I hope Ting is okay. I would hate to have that be on an answer to Nathan to run in the same scene. Be like, see, is she okay? Be like, I don't know. Let's hope so. This combat 
<laughs> this is double speed. Mm. Nah, don't use that. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm dead. You <laughs> Time for a fun. <laughs> and we're done. Fantilia, a name I've heard other nameless speak of in the past. Fantilia. She's one of seven Lord Ravagers who serve Nanook and finds pleasure in witnessing the self destruction of mortals. She's led countless souls down a dark and hopeless path. Meaning that Ting Yun had long since fallen under the Lord Ravager's influence? I don't believe so. Fantilia revels in watching a corrupted mind eating away its host from inside out until the obliteration of both is achieved. But there was no indication that Ting Yun had been misguided or manipulated. It's possible that the Ting Yun we knew wasn't her true self, but an image Fantilia devised to serve her own purposes. There's a say Ting Yun. You're saying that the real Ting Yun is still I'm sorry, Marge, I can't say with any certainty where the real Ting Yun may be, or at what point she was replaced by the imposter. Without knowing where the body vanished to, it'll be tough to get an answer. Give me really hard to explain at this to point, Nathan. It's all just conjecture and hope. But if that body belonged to the real Ting Yun, it does raise the question of why Fantilia would go to such lengths to destroy any evidence of her. Wouldn't it be more in line with her destructive nature to leave Ting Yun's remains behind as a, a display of power? I believe this to be Fantilia's goal to sow seeds of doubt among us and ensnare us in a malevolent trap. It's clear that the sudden resurgence of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is all connected to the Lord Ravager. Pretending to be a San Zhou citizen, planting a Celeron in the Lafu, all part of her plan to bring about our self-destruction. Ventilia is aiming for the Ambrosial Arbor. If she succeeds, the Lofu will be deprived of its roots, making its destruction all too easy. We must stop her. We need to take a start. I agree, to but the gorge waterscape. The ambrosial oh, she's really not here. From that cell. Let's make haste. I bring up Nathan because he really likes Ting Yun. Like he really likes Ting Yun. <laughs> this information is in the description below, by the way. Wanna follow his Twitch or whatever. the audacity to carry out her nefarious plans right under our noses how utterly despicable what worries me more is just how many more antimatter saboteurs are at large what's in you happened so suddenly but looking back i think mr yang was right ting yun was behaving strangely she was fascinated with the Abundance's creations. He broke her neck. Since she was an Amicaster dispatched by the Skyfaring Commission, it's evident that there must indeed be a person with her name in the Commission. We'll have to let the Cloud Knights get to the bottom of what happened to the real Ting Yun. As for the Ting Yun who accompanied us all that way, it's like what Mr. Yang said. Her appearance was designed to sow seeds of doubt among us. We cannot allow ourselves to fall into her trap. But the scale gorge waterscape. It is a delve governed by the Vidyatara. Supposedly an ancient oceanic region transferred from the Vidyatara home planet. 
After the Ambrosial Arbor was broken in two during the war, its roots were left gnarled and broken. Yet it never died. The Alliance decided to seal the Arbor within Scale Gorge Waterscape, and trust it to the High Elders of the Bidiotera, and rely on the power of Long Scions to constrain it. It has been so long. No one knows whether the seal remains. Even if it does, I doubt it will hinder that Spectral Lord Ravager. Is Jin Yun? I've reported the current situation to the Seat of Divine Foresight. Who is that general? He made no further contact after we communicated at the Matrix of Prescience. He said he had important matters to personally attend to. The situation stands on the edge of a precipice. We must trust in the general. Dad, or he's already on it. Time to the entrance. Let's go. A little while ago. Oh, now he catches up. Hey, wait a second. Weren't you just with us? No. Alchemy Commission. Huh? <laughs> You're pretty familiar with this place. <laughs> yep. The Alchemy Commission. No wonder we were getting those military broadcasts on the way over. There's something about the Cloud Knights gathering here, right? They're probably coming to fix the Stellaron problem. <laughs> it's been such a long journey, but... Now, we're finally gonna meet some Cloud Knights. I'll be back with my unit. I didn't lie to you, right? I told you I'd bring you somewhere safe, and I did. Though, we did take a bit of a detour. Before I arrived in Starskiff Haven, I had a diviner read my fortune for the journey ahead. He told me not to be concerned with the destination. But to seize my chances and travel with the current to reap the greatest harvest. Meaning? Meaning, thank you, Miss Sushang. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go report to the nearest captain. You guys can hang around here, but don't run off too far. There will be cloud knights coming to escort you back soon. Bye for now. It's me! Read the text. Cloud Knights invited us all to go with them. Your homeland got some real big crucibles. Cloud Knights? I just failed to sense. Lame. The messages never get sent. I wonder what's happening with those three. The Cloud Knights seem to be gathering for the Stellaron disaster. But why did Kafka want us to come here? What happened to them? And what happened to Blade? I've delayed for too long. I need more information. I'm to the edge, Lord. Too soon? Okay, this ain't really much of an option. Okay. Nothing. Once the fight is over, I'll personally escort you and Mr. Lord Cha home. Just like Genshin, your options don't matter. No. It's it's funny to see dialogue like that, but man, does it come up too frequent. You haven't been back home for a long time, have you, Master Don Hong? How did you know? As home draws nearer, so our feelings grow stronger. I can see it in your eyes. Do you want to leave? Then do it now. <sighs> Does have a point. The Cloud Knights will soon check our identities. I have somewhere else to be. I've tarried here too long. But where are you going? I'm a traveling merchant. I have one more deal to see through. Honestly, I kind of want to follow you through that story. I want to see what you're doing. These fruit stands over here. Any chests? Probably not. We were here earlier. What did they give this Dong Hong, anyways? Is like going at 72 out of 80. Max traces, really? Artifacts? I can't check the stats on these, but I mean, there's the four piece wind and the two piece twilight lane, which I think it's Herta's thing. 
Bridges ornaments, something like that. I'm sorry, I have to catch up to my friends. Thank you for looking out for me on this journey. Both of you. Yeah. Don't worry, I got Sushin. I got a builder though. I need to be careful. If I alert the knights, they might take an interest in me. I see you want me to go around the other way. Yes, you do. I just looked at what was in front of me and just didn't go this way. I am not walking slow. He did that on his own. That's what she said. This Orient cauldron is driven by the cloud hymn magic of our people, the Vidyadara. It drinks the water of the ancient sea like a whale swallows the tide and refines it into medicinal pellets. Are you okay, Dong Han? Huh? This will strengthen our position. Bad fingers. That's my fault. You gonna be good, man? Oh, look at these huge elevators. I don't know, maybe he's terrified to ride that every morning or what? I'm gonna be a little nervous at first. Go? Have these shadows of the past yet to disperse? <sighs> these memories. No. They have nothing to do with me anymore. All the elixir crucibles that the Vidyadara helped to construct contain cloud him magic. You should take this chance to learn more, young master. I pretty much just said what he already, what he just established. Dong Hong's memories, huh? Somewhat. Been interesting, because we don't really know too much about Dong Hong. I am. Uh, I mentioned those earlier too. I doubt I will be here to see you take charge. No need to feel agreed. The Viatara go through cycles of life and death, existing forever in this world. By the time you are the High Elder, my hatching rebirth will be complete, and I will be a child once again. Please, take care of me. That's a weird cycle. Imagine that conversation flying over. It's like, what? I'm gonna be reborn again? Sorry, I cannot linger here. My friends have left. I must find them. You didn't see us then? 
Then won't heed us now. As headstrong as you always were. It seems you already made your decision. There is a vessel bound for Scale Gorge Waterscape located ahead. He's here. Hmm. Right on time. That feeling, Kafka. It's welling up within me. That feeling. It, it's... Well, don't resist. Let the Mara strike you. You're here. <laughs> it's time to pay the price! It's time! You think changing form will help you escape? Escape? I've told you and that woman many times. I am Don Hung. I have nothing to do with your past. Don Hung. You think another name and face can blot out the sin of your past? You... You didn't even experience death. I will force this suffering upon you, Don Hung. You will know the pain of death! <laughs> Not on my watch! You're not murdering anyone today, fugitive. You're coming with me. Jing Yuan's lapdog. <laughs> Did the general not teach you to choose your battles wisely? Hey, move back. Things are about to... Huh? You... You look so familiar. Look out! Quit hiding. You're not true self. Reveal it. Stop! You... I have news for you, boy. Behind you is none other than the traitor of the Sienjo. A criminal forever banished. The High Elder of the Vidyadara. Imbibe Lune. Stellaron hunters were the only ones to infiltrate the Sienjo. In that case, I'll bring both of you to justice! I've heard of you in Bibiter Lune. First it was the Stellaron hunters, now an exiled criminal has infiltrated the Sienjo. Come get me! No interest in stoking conflict. I came to ensure the safety of my friends. Save your excuses for the shackling prison. Out of the way. <laughs> Better, but I'm afraid you won't be seeing your friends. They're caught in their own bitter struggle. Silence. You're not getting away. Is that so? Let's heat things up then, Kafka. Lady, listen to me. Unleash the Mara. So it begins. <laughs> 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 
are okay. Listen to me. Stop. Well, Blady, are you satisfied? Just clearing the stage for the grand entrance. Can't have you three misbehaving in front of the Lafu's hotshot general. <laughs> Ching Yuan. Many years have passed since the two of you departed the Sienjo, and yet the circumstances of your return appear to be equally unhappy. If you still thought of me as a friend, you should have forewarned me. My task is complete. Hmm, that it is. Thank you for assisting the Sienjo in this small matter. Take this person away. I will pretend I didn't see anything this time. General, I... Now is not the time. It has been a long time, old friend. I'm not him. Hmm. I'm sorry. You cannot leave yet. Your Astral Express friends are waiting for you in Scale Gorge Waterscape. Shall we go and see them together? Lunarescent depths, a realm of singular beauty. Elgord's waterscape is the same as when I last laid eyes on it. And here we stand so different from one another. The flesh of long life species may be immortal, but the constant of heaven and earth eludes them. You know the Vidyadara hatching rebirth cycle, General. The waters of the ancient sea have cleansed Dan Fang of his past sin. The person that once stood here alongside you is no more. I am Dan Hung. Whether Dan Fang was hero or villain has nothing to do with me. I bore his punishment, accepted my eternal banishment without complaint. 
Do not let his shadow cloud your estimation of me, General. <sighs> Raising old nets only darkens the water. An exercise in unhappiness. Perhaps it is your visage, the horns on your head, or the unmistakable air of the High Elder that makes the separation nigh impossible for me. I already told you, I... You did. But to what effect? If words alone were enough to change the heart, this world would be without quarrel. If you wish to rid me of the illusion of Dong Feng, you must do something for me. Before I can let Don Fong die and revoke your banishment edict, I need him to do me one final favor. I can guarantee you that when it is done, you will no longer walk in anyone's shadow aboard the Law Fu. I may not be capable of the things that Don Fong was capable of. You must do it, or my promise will count for naught. If you wish to blame someone, Blame your previous incarnation. Had he not committed that terrible sin, had the power of dragon transmutation been passed on intact, I would have no need to compel you. It is as I said. Here we stand so different from one another. Don Fung is no more. Now, there is only Don Hung. But I... I am the general of the Law Fu. There are things that I wish I did not have to do, and yet I must. <laughs> Let us talk of happier tidings. The friends you made on the Express are here. Do you wish to see them? You, you brought them here? <laughs> yes. They are waiting in the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. Go. Your friends are waiting for you. Wow, lots, a lot has happened during that. I didn't want to talk during that because it's just I like so much. Careful Ooh. watch against the abominations of abundance, the Stellaron Hunters, and the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. But I never anticipated the Antimatter Legion. The hunt is far from over. Yet all the while, we find ourselves at war with other evil spirits. Hmm. From this battle onward, the Alliance must fight the Legion to our dying breath. Even if it means the end of the Law Fu. A lot happened during that. But as I was saying earlier, um, I didn't want to talk during that because I was like... So much good stuff is happening. Oh, I see what you did here, Mahoyo. You're not gonna let me look at him because he's not a released character yet. I hear you. <laughs> can enhance. Apparently, can't use the technique here. Our intelligence tells us that the Legion are a mad and destructive war machine. Yet they never took up arms against the Alliance. The armies of the Seven Ravagers all have their own means of destruction. They are not to be taken lightly. Lord Ravager Fantilia favors internal collapse, which is why she masterminded the Stellaron Crisis and urged the disciples of Sanctus Medicus out of the shadows. Now that her plot has been laid bare, she has no choice but to retreat. And yet that hardly suits her philosophy of destruction. There must be something more. It seems that Don Hall must have went from that transformation. He used to be someone before, but now he's not. Interesting. Do you know something? When Don Fong committed his great crime, the Ten Lords Commission advocated strongly for him to be destroyed. The Vidyadra, on the other hand, were split evenly in their favor and disfavor of the motion. <laughs> the Dragon Transmutation Inheritance was not intact after all. The senior Vidyadra hated you, yet did not dare to kill you. 
The Vidyadura were under great pressure. In order to placate the Ten Lords and Skyfaring Commissions, they performed an exuviation charm on Dong Fong against his will. Still, they ensured that the charm contained a flaw, thinking that this would fool the Ten Lords' Commission. <laughs> The senior Vidyadura were sure of their scheme. But you cannot hide fire with paper. Looks like he did something really bad. From what I'm getting at. Oh. Really are up here. What about this memory over here? I'm gathering it seems Don Hong's like a dragon man pretty much look dragon hybrid your friends are taking the fight to the Legion as we speak we need to help them let's go oh why'd you can put me back on the bat still not gonna let me see his stuff though Bunch of resistance increase. Matching during 56.7. Oh, they gave him his light cone. I know what Jinyuan does. But he enhances it three times and does that, which is ridiculous. A foregone conclusion. So his whole thing is enhancing. Does it take per skill? Oh, it doesn't. Hmm. So let's just charge it three times in your normal attack. It's like supercharged, basically. So why would you not do this? A foregone conclusion. It's a lot of damage, though. Told you I could fight. Genuine's a character I don't have, but basically he just does lightning damage and does this too. Summons a lightning lord. He's basically like two characters in one. Let's go. He's very, very good. I sent a storm. Heaven Follow my charge. Bam it three times and you're good. My turn. Still raises a lot of questions though. I do like how they're making like characters that we have been around for at least a Let's little bit quick. of time, or at least for a good portion of time, and giving them like new forms and stuff. I like that. This crypt boosted um when he killed that thing. Killed that enemy. Show no mercy. Yeah, I did pull Virginia on, but he's really good. My um friend Cubs got him. We haven't seen this awesome move in a long time. I haven't because I don't use March anymore. You're made to be broken. Maybe you're not meant supposed to spam it. Hang on. We'll see what enhance it to this. That's really dope. He's pretty much gone Super Saiyan. Win. Where have you been? <laughs> Forgive my late arrival, Lady Fu. We are indebted to you and your forces. The seat of divine foresight relate the battle reports to me. As for Fantilia's plan, the Ambrosial Arbor. That's her focus. Lord Ravager Fantilia's strategy was to create civil strife. Then let it consume the Sien Zhou from within. She wanted to use the arbor to disseminate the power of the plague's author and turn the Lafu into a hell of undying abominations. Hmm. That is clear to me now. 
Friends of the Astral Express, I have brought someone with me whom I think you'll be eager to see. story, March. It's me. So, you do have secret strength. Are you stabbed like me? Let us save such reminiscence for later, shall we? My astral guess. When you first appeared on the La Foule, your stated aim was the resolution of the Stellaron Crisis. I was concerned that the Stellaron hunters harbored ulterior motives and refused your offer. I see now that I was overly anxious. Nevertheless, it is true that the motives of the Stellaron hunters were not what they appeared. <laughs> In order that the Express and the Sienjo fight side by side, Kafka lured you here and broadened the scope of the crisis. In doing so, she succeeded in making it clear that your sincerity is beyond doubt. The La Fu is in your debt, and I have no right to seek further assistance from you. However, as Lady Fu has explained, the appearance of Fantilia means that the situation is far from under our control. As General of the La Fu, it would be foolish of me not to ask Don Hong and the rest of you for your strength at this critical moment. Even if the crisis on the Law Fu had nothing to do with the Stellaron, I would be willing to help. But I can't speak for the other members of my crew. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. As the crew of the Express, that's the Trailblaze Creed we follow. Still, when the journey gets tough, those words can feel far off. Fear, risk, enemies, and death are the obstacles we face in pursuit of the creed. That's why the nameless who are able to stay the course number few indeed. Whether our destination lies before us or behind us, the decision is ours to make. Here, as on the Express, every vote counts. You missed your buddy. Thank you, Don Hong. <laughs> How am I still one of the nameless? I stand here at the mercy of others without true freedom to speak. But as a descendant of the Vidyadara, I will fulfill my duty to the Law Fu. <laughs> Great! Everyone's just as heroic as when they arrived. So, what's the master plan, General? There is no master plan. Only a bet. A bet on the senior Vidyadra's incomplete exuviation charm. And on Dong Hong's ability to access the memories of the High Elder. High Elder? When the Rainbow Arbiter severed the Ambrosial Arbor, remnants of the curse of the Plague's author lingered. In order to make the stemming of those remnants a possibility, the La Fu invoked the power of the Scions of Permanence. Under the direction of the High Elder, the Vidyadara guided the waters of the ancient sea to flood the Scale Gorge waterscape delve and contain the arbor to commemorate this magnificent feat and sacrifice, the Alliance erected the Dragon Vista Rain Monument, a Vidyadara statue. Oh, it looks so much like Don Hong. I wonder if... The statue... Is that... 
Don Hung's brother? <laughs> I see why you might think so. These events occurred a long time ago. Yet successive generations of High Elders have not differed greatly in their appearance. That is, until the current generation. The most recent successor did not inherit the same level of power, and their appearance is that of a child. Do you understand, Don Hong? Since Dong Fong perished, the La Fu Viriadra have no longer had an individual capable of performing such feats. But you, who once kept watch over the arbor, should be able to open a way through to that great tree. What happens next is in your hands. <laughs> The Roti Amosha Barber. You scared the heck out of me. For a second, I thought you'd annoyed the general. It seemed like you were his prisoner. There I was, thinking up a plan to kidnap you. And it turns out the two of you are old buddies. So, what made you suddenly decide to come down from the express? I was worried for your safety. Aww, how sweet. But Mr. Yang and I have been holding our own. We're pretty much Sienjo heroes at this point. Anyway, it's great to have you with us, Don Hung. Aww. Lady Fu. And by better Lunay's reincarnation. Dong Hong, correct? I've heard your name before. Your name was only erased from the public eye. But as the Master Diviner, I know, and should know, all the records of years gone by. Such archives are of great importance in times of need. I was not born in the heroic and extraordinary era of the High Cloud Quintet. To have seen those legends with my own eyes. Your appearance closely matches the depiction in the annals. Does Vidyadra reincarnation really entail a complete transformation? A new life? Sounds pretty metal. Has coming here triggered your memory? Release your full potential. The power you carry is the key to opening a way through to the Ambrosial Arbor. While I was resting on his shoulders. I knew you'd come. When we first mentioned the Sienjo, there was a sad look in your eyes. They may have banished you, but the Lawfu is still your home. Thanks for all you help You're along the way. Of the Express Crew, Don Hung. Let's settle this matter as soon as possible. Our journey doesn't end here. Hey, me. Do you both become silent? Is there nothing you like to ask? Zay shakes his head. He doesn't want to speak. Nobody can get him to open up. Yeah, that, that sounds like me. I'm pretty quiet, you know, especially when I don't have a voice actor. It's just silence the rest of the way. Anyways, let's do this. Such as the Hide Elder have been greatly changed for you by years of withering. There's a small word engraved on near its base. Harken as a boar, as a boar revives and foe near, we call forth the mighty waters of this ancient sea to flood a boat of heavens and the quell roots of evil. We etch us into the stone for all to heed. Try to feel the greater power here. Beneath the endless rolling waves, the ancient roots of the arbor, arbor blaze. Long dormant, they stir in to come to life. As if it was as if it was a beast were walking from a strife. The contentment mechanism woven of the past thrones, the binding and tamed the beast's power known as a frail net, soon to shatter by fall. It decays wither 
warning heard by one of and all. Memories from the past emerged from the darkness, tight, tightly gripped you. 